Hello Newcastle and a very pleasant welcome to NCTV 45 and uh, Newswatch Nightly as um, we bring you what's happening on this Thursday, April 2nd and um, one of those really uh, beautiful days outside as um, the closed caption not really working the way I wanted to but I'm going to keep my eye on it again this time now um, with that I, uh, as I check, uh, I had a couple more settings I wanted to check, and I got that. Uh, you know, folks, I appreciate all your kind comments, as uh, it's uh, a little different when you're watching everything in all these different areas. Uh, I have the Comcast box to my left. Okay. Everything. And um, I have my monitor to my right. I have you straight ahead. I have a camera over here, and and, and it's um, it's a little um, dazzling or. Uh, for lack of a better word, uh, undaunting to just try and figure everything out. So, um, we're going to get to what's going on with COVID-19 as uh, we've been out there really explaining it to you. And uh, as I direct my son to um, do his part, and he's going to start that now to my left. So, um, without any further ado, Newswatch is straight ahead for you. If you think there's nothing to do in Newcastle... ...in Lawrence County, then think again! Always stay connected to NCTV 45 to receive the information on events going on in and around the area on a daily basis. Programs to view are Newswatch, The Morning Show, and Community Happenings. NCTV 45 takes pride in bringing you the event and organization info that you want. NCTV 45 is the number one media source locally. NCTV 45, anytime on your time. Trusting your loved one to a funeral director is a very personal and emotional decision. The funeral director you choose must understand the importance of the decision you have made. When you call the William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, I recognize what a privilege it is to be chosen at your time of need. We will provide you and your family with the best service possible, with sincerity and compassion. The William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1941. Come dine with us, come dine, come dine today. If you could use some real good food, there's a place not far away. If you could use a drink or two, or a place to go and play, come to Gallows Italian Villa today. Simple elegance in a majestic setting. Yes, right here in downtown Newcastle. Minutes away from shopping. Seconds from a gas station. And let's not forget pastries, a restaurant, and oh yes, the schools. The majestic for that majestic lifestyle.
right in the greatest castle, Newcastle. Come by and take a look. Chuck Tanner would be proud of the restaurant that bears his name. Chuck Tanner's Restaurant, owned and operated by the Papazikas family, would love for you to be part of a Newcastle tradition. Come enjoy the great breakfast, super lunch, and second-to-none dinner choices from their Italian, Mediterranean, and American cuisine. You can relax with a wonderful atmosphere and something from the bar. If you're planning an event, ask about their banquet facility. Tanner's Restaurant is located at 2305 Wilmington Road in Neshanic Township. Call 724-658-5900. Good afternoon, Newcastle, and a very pleasant welcome to you as uh, we get to News Watch, and I put all of my stuff back together. And, uh, you know, it's so uh, great to uh, be with you as uh, we get and uh, kind of stroll along, and uh, I feel bad for fixing everything as I was here but there that makes it a little bit better and we're ready to go with news watch and uh, the top of what's breaking coming in and I'm just gonna go through uh, this uh, mailbag um, quite a few parents very happy with the Newcastle Area School District. Hats off there as they said that the handout of the computers and what have you devices were very orderly and mannerly and great. So um, congratulations to them and uh, always uh, Good to see that the kids are getting everything exactly right. <clears throat> now, this uh, just in from the PA Department of Agriculture. And uh, let me go out there and say that um, they are do every right now, it's very um, heartwarming to. Uh, see that everybody is out there trying to help um, you know I, I told you about the school district great job handing out the devices well the PA Department of Agriculture reassures Pennsylvanians COVID-19 not transmittable through food supply chain uh, is secure okay they continue to uh, talk about social distancing and that seems to be the answer going through the state and federal government right now hygiene uh, implement uh, uh, cleaning products to disinfect and clean countertops with bleach and uh, we use hydrogen peroxide here as a hand wash as um, sanitizer seems to be at a premium so uh, just know that and uh, follow those guidelines as you go through and um, The Department of Conservation and Natural Resources uh, talks about activity out outside. If you have a yard, spend some time outdoors every day. If it's possible to walk around your neighborhood with people in your family, as well as those, you can say, stay six feet from the neighbors. Go out on the porch. Uh, wave to the person across the street and talk to them. Uh, okay, it's been absolutely gorgeous. And uh, they, they talked about this 
in um, their briefing today at the state uh, if you decide to leave your neighborhood plan for several alternate locations so if you arrive at the first one and there's a crowd you can move on these are all things find a local park or trail that offers enough social spacing there are more than 6,000 of those parks and they have a map okay and uh, I'll try to get the map up all oh, the maps going to be of all Pennsylvania so I'm going to tell you right here in Newcastle Lawrence County up in Mercer and Sharon you know where the parks are um, use those to your advantage and uh, get get that fresh air it's very important uh, again uh, Stephen thank you for the kind comments on behalf of the Newcastle Area School District uh, for the handout of the apparatuses that the students will be using I'm going right down the thing thank you uh, out there in TV land uh, look at this 480 percent um, that's amazing uh, and uh, I thank you for it as uh, we go along and uh, just absolutely great um, so uh, I want to uh, really thank everybody for everything uh, they've done with telling a friend now um, we put this on our website and um, this is today's stats the Department of Health update on COVID-19 1200 new people pay, pay, people with positives matter of fact 1211 to be exact bringing the state total to 7016 this is across the 62 counties there are still counties with zero as it was explained to me and I, and I'm getting the feeling now they don't want to overwhelm or create a problem where there isn't one uh, for rural areas that might not have the facilities this is a way with this social distancing not to have the big crowds and also to be able to eliminate the virus and stop the curve or bend the curve or whatever they say with the curve the numbers are nearly 1% zero age to four nearly 1% age 5 to 12 so say that that's 2% 1% are 13 to 18 so 18 and under is 3% okay nearly nine percent are 19 to 24 so with that that's 12 percent right there the biggest group 25 to 49 41 percent and that's up a percent okay from what we earlier told you and 50 to 64 that's 29 percent and 19 percent over age 65 that have tested positive now with all that and um, they ran the press conference for for it that's why we put that up there live I'm going to go to one more thing with uh, this and I want to give you the temperature up in the corner at the same time Pennsylvania waves 
spade and neuter requirements okay requirement for adoption and conserves PPE for human health care professionals Department of Agriculture announced today that in an effort to conserve personal protective equipment human health care work for human health care workers the Pennsylvania dog law that requires shelters and rescues to spray neuter dogs and cats prior to adoption would be waived for the pet during the COVID-19 to mitigate uh, in efforts to mitigate COVID-19 in Pennsylvania. So um, that out there and uh, so if you're just getting a dog <laughs> that's a little new thing now um we're going to get and uh go to sports and i got something for you here now a, a few of you may be wondering what we're doing um so let's let's check this out you know, there was no March Madness. So, I mean, what are you going to do? No March Madness. Well, here's a little fact that some of you may have known, others didn't. And um, I was a coach, a CYO basketball coach. And... Uh, also spent a lot of time doing it and I actually coached not just in uh, Pennsylvania but I also coached in Ohio for a long period of time now um, with that being said okay I enjoyed my many years of coaching and other things and I know this is probably something you weren't looking for on Newswatch but you're getting it anyway now, when I coached back in the 80s, and I coached for 20, 25 years, when I coached back in the 80s, they were just coming out with these things called VHS tapes. And also, they were coming out with these things, which were eight millimeter tapes yeah how's that is that something now I immensely enjoyed my days coaching and I had tapes of the games with everybody not having the chance for March Madness and you know your home it, it's like Maybe your wife, girlfriend, they're watching a soap opera. But you like March because then you get to watch some basketball games. And all those soap operas get interrupted. Well, at NCTV 45, we did that exact thing. So the last two days, we put together and I randomly picked the tapes. <laughs> so I know Bucky and Frankie Augustine and Bill Jones are going to be all over me about this. But round one featured the St. Mary's Fighting Irish against the St. Lawrence Lakers. The Irish lost 55-50. And then they played the Holy Cross Crusaders from West Pittsburgh, which became a win for the Irish, 57-41. Now, on these tapes, there were three games, and um, the next game featured the Madonna Vikings. Now, that's prevailing word church now, over there on Atlantic Avenue in what they refer to as Oakland. 
Our Lady of Chestahova was the name of the church. Madonna Vikings taking on the St. Mary's Fighting Irish. The St. Mary's Fighting Irish won 5228. And so, as of this morning, the Irish were up 159.24. Because I figured it would take a cumulative total of all of these scores. Well, today in a real shooting match, and you go back and watch it, it was the St. Mary's Fighting Irish against the Trojans of St. Vitus. And uh, in all the spectacular St. Mary's, St. Vitus games, it was the Irish 88-77 over the Trojans, which gave, gave the Irish a 247-200 lead. Madonna came calling on the Irish again, and it was a 99-79 win for the Irish. So it puts the Irish up 346-79. to Now, tomorrow's game, you know, this could be wiped out in a second. If you play two games and you lose by 20, all of a sudden that lead is gone. 346 to 279. The Irish are sitting pretty with a lead over uh, their foes in the March Madness of the CYO Basketball Tournament. And uh, stay posted. If you see Billy Jones, just tell him we didn't play St. Mike's yet. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that being said, and going out to all of the seniors, we've been featuring senior activities from Newcastle High School. I'm, I'm looking to get them from everywhere, and we'll have a senior class expo from all the schools in Lawrence County as this comes in. So um, without any further thing, here is Newcastle and they're taking on Shaler today. And uh, let uh, the kids in the cross country know that uh, cross country is tomorrow. So uh, let's do this, 54 to sunny. And we're gonna go to sports, we'll be right back. The Cedars Restaurant in New There you go. I'm totally amazed. We're going to sports, folks. We'll be back. The Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle. apologize for what's going on but we were thrown off the air twice and um, as we attempted to go to sports now I'm going to send us to sports again and uh, I just started broadcasting on the YouTube channel and then uh, we'll come back and pick it up so uh, hang in there folks cedars restaurant in newcastle The Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle wants you to indulge in the food from their pleasing menu. It's the upright and bounces over. 
And uh, that's it for the fight. Snap is down, kick up and away, and good. And with 6.02 left in the first, it's 14. We'll be right back. Now, they are sinking to the far side, one way to the side pass. Down to the 10 yard line, whistles blow, and uh, everybody's baking it. Shaler This program furnished by Sporting Goods, 23 East Washington Street, Newcastle. Call 724-658-2535. This program sponsored by Penn Ohio Bottled Water Company. Brian Chess owner. Call 724-498-4760. Brian would be glad to visit you. This program brought to you by Cummings Landscaping and Design. Brandon Cummings, lower operator. We're back and uh, 54 degrees here in Newcastle and um, at the current time we're, uh, we looked out, there was no power outage. We're not sure exactly what knocked us off the air. I am checking for any messages right now of anything that occurred in the break that um, would have had that happen and uh, we see uh, nothing on our end so we're going to continue with news watch um, make sure that you tell a friend as we've uh, done that uh, very bizarre uh, goings on today. We had uh, an individual that um, was attempting to hack us earlier in the afternoon, and that attempt failed. Uh, okay, and uh, I'm not at all sure what could have been 
the uh, goings on for now, but uh, we've uh, taken care of the situation and uh, we're going to march on with Newswatch. Uh, so um, just know it and uh, make sure that uh, you tell a friend. I don't mind. I don't mind it being in two parts. Hey, you roll with the punches here, and uh, people will understand. I know they will. So, um, as we continue on with uh, Newswatch, and um, the Greenville Chamber of Commerce, and uh, earlier somebody asked why. They are a very integral part of uh, what goes on down here. A lot of people are watching from Mercer County, and we are happy to have them on. So, uh, they want to make sure that you know that the small businesses in, Mer in Mercer County, especially Greenville, are open and they are out there for you, drive through for the restaurants, and uh, I make sure that they know about that. Extensions for filing uh, deadline applies to trust the states partnerships and s corporations okay they've extended the deadline till july 15th okay for declarations of estimated personal income tax and uh, the deadline july 15th for payments of estimated personal income tax um, so with that, um, in addition to the dates, they changed Act 10 of 2020, the federal due date for the calendar year corporation returns, normally April 15th, has been moved back to July 15th as a result of the due date for corporations with Pennsylvania returns. Payment due on May 15th is now August 14th, there is no extension for the June 15th estimated payment due for corporations. And uh, so I'm going to give this to you once again as um, it it's, there's a lot of dates in here, so uh, let's get them straight. Partnerships. Original federal due date, March 15th. New federal due date, March 15th. Original PA date, April 15th. New PA due date, July 15th. That's partnerships. As corporations, it was March 15th. The new federal due date is March 15th. The original Pennsylvania due date was April 15th, is now July 15th. Individuals, April 15th. The new federal date, July 15th. The original PA date was April 15th, it is now July 15th also. Trust and estates, April 15th, has been moved by the federal government to July 15th. For the state, it has also been moved to July 15th. Corporations, April 15th has been moved to July 15th. And May 15th in Pennsylvania has been moved to August 14th. So uh, that gives you an idea of when those tax dates are due, um, they've all been moved back, and uh, that's a good thing as far as uh, making it easier with this COVID situation. Now, um, I want to make sure that uh, 
everybody understands. I, I said this before when we were getting cut off the air, and uh, I don't know what that was about. But I do know this, that uh, I'm extending uh, the app, the opportunity for seniors uh, to put and post a senior picture on the NCTV 45 page. Um, you know, we are embarking on the April, May when kids had their pictures. Uh, back in the day, you used to exchange pictures and if they want to put something up, congratulations from mom and dad. And there's a picture of your son. By all means, the NCTV 45 spot is for you. Uh, I know a lot of those kids. We've done the senior night at Newcastle. We've done the senior game. We did the Newcastle Shaler game. And uh, one of the Cedar Sports Corners, and let me take you back, we did the Highlands game on Monday. And then the senior night intro to those kids on Tuesday, the senior game on Wednesday, and today is Newcastle Shaler. So, uh, and we just got done with that in the Cedar Sports Corner. So I, I want you to know, as uh, I really feel for them. City Rescue Mission remains open, but space is limited. Men's shelter is overflowing. The chapel and the recovery classes continue. Uh, there are the youth ministry outreach programs aren't there, but the Sankey Center will be used for emergency if needed. The pantries are temporary closed. Families who regularly receive grocery assistance were given food in preparation of the crisis. We hope to reopen as soon as possible. The women's ministry continues to shelter and care for guests during the crisis. Volunteer programs have been suspended, but we encourage interesting group, interested groups to and individuals to submit their requests online. So uh, that in from the uh, City Rescue Mission. And uh, once again, uh, I apologize for the interruption in Newswatch. Uh, today you may have learned uh, that for some reason there was no audio in the transmission from Holy Spirit Parish, the St. James website, or the St. James worship site, and uh, that was through No Fault NCTV 45. The transmission line went down out there, and we apologize for that. We'll make sure it doesn't happen again as we look into it. But anytime there's people involved, there's human error. So uh, NCTV 45, always keeping you on the ball and looking into things. Museums and remain closed till April 30th as part of the COVID-19 mitigation. Now that's not to say that parks won't be closed. Uh, you, you can still get out and walk around. I told you that at the beginning of this broadcast. Also, the Wolf Administration expands business exemptions. Uh, doesn't expand them. They're due Friday, April 3rd. So, uh, at 5, at 5 o'clock, matter of fact. Um, so this is important if you have a business and, and a lot of it was ambiguous today 
to the Department of Community and Economic Development, Devin, Secretary Dennis Devin, announced the, the uh, exemption application for businesses created in response to Tom Wolf's um, stay at home will be the close of Friday, April 3rd at 5 p.m. So uh, make sure you jump on that. And the permit to care firearms has been extended to May 30th, 2020. So uh, just keeping you informed, uh, the state stores are open online, fine line, wine and good spirits dot com. Uh, also, uh, very important, uh, the eight o'clock curfew that in Pennsylvania. Now, um, let's get to the weather and uh, here you go this is Cleveland radar and this is Pittsburgh radar isn't that great just seeing all that clear sky now uh, here you go with what it is outside 54 degrees 35 percent humidity Wind north of 15, gusting to 21, barometric pressure 30.03, dew point 27, visibility 10, and wind chill 50 degrees. But that's still not bad because the sun is shining and it makes you feel real warm. We're going to go to weather. We'll be right back. <laughs> SP. Big Shot Bobs are the wings for me. 50 flavors make it right you see. BSB has sandwiches you have to try. Stop in and you'll know why. Every day in the week you see. Call or stop in to BSB. Big Shot Bobs will be your favorite place. Just like me. Easy clean car and van wash. Where your clean wash is our goal. moving out and uh, a lot of clearing behind it that's uh, illustrate a lot more in the national picture back there just a lot of wispy clouds and uh, not much else to talk about as the rain has uh, gone past us that sets us up for a pretty doggone good run and let's take a look now, um, last night, 31, just a drop here or there. Nothing to write home about. Your Thursday, Sunshine. That's the name of the game, 52. And uh, it'll just be one of those picture-perfect days as you gaze out the window. Thursday night, mostly clear, a low of 32. Friday, Sunshine 55 and Friday night mostly clear and 34. Now your Saturday mostly sunny and 63. And then Saturday night mostly cloudy, a low of 44. Which pops you into Sunday. Your Sunday sunshine with 62. And uh, Sunday night. Partly cloudy, a low of 42. 
making its move on to Monday. Sunshine again in 66. Things looking pretty good, but Monday night, clouds build in. A low of 48. Chance of rain is 50%. That will carry on into Tuesday early, and uh, there's a 50% chance of rain. But I think by the end of the day on Tuesday, you'll see some sunshine, and it'll be just perfect. Now, uh, that was Lawrence County 45 weather. And uh, here's hoping that uh, you get, get on that porch, take a breath of that fresh air, and uh, just enjoy. Now, we're going to hear from Tuscany Square. Where? And we'll, and we'll be, be right, right back. back. Tuscany Square, Western 3470 Wilmington Road, where old world charm meets today's modern conveniences. You'll enjoy their spacious, comfortable seating. Their fresh ingredients that go into making every dish, whether it's pizza or that just right entree. Tuscany Square Restaurant, we're here to serve you. Call 724 654 3065. We're back, and um, some information that um, I'm going to impress upon you. Okay, and I'm going to do that in uh, this kind of order as we go through. First of all, PA Department of Revenue, we know that's, listen, March collections were down 6.2%, okay, and um, that, I told you, I'm not, I'm getting that the heck out of there. Now, um, PA Department of Banking, they wear, warn against COVID scams. While we were on the air. The phone's ringing. It says potential scam. Unknown name, unknown number, no caller ID. Don't answer it. Okay, just that simple. The Department of Health. Here's, we just posted this. We went from 5,800 up to 7,000 and that's the part that I was trying to tell you about 7,016 so um, almost an increase of 2,000 with that that's up there now uh, that's the state area and um, Mike Kelly, he's a good guy. He's your congressman. Mike Kelly had COVID or developed COVID-19 symptoms. His office is working on, my office is operating on a telework status. We wish Mike the best. Okay, the Wolf Administration reminds you that uh, the human services are open. And uh, Planet Fitness, which I used to do before all this, says uh, go to their Facebook or their YouTube channel. And um, that brings the uh, news watch to almost an end. I uh, want to remind you about this. 
there's an 8 o'clock, they ask you to be in at 8 o'clock. Now, I know the sun's shining, it's a pain in the butt, but that's why we have that programming on for you, so that you can enjoy it. You can re-watch Hook in the Castle. You can watch the sporting events. We have hockey. We have baseball. We have basketball. We have cross country. We have football. Of course you got to have football. And a lot of great shows with great personalities, religious, thought for the days. There's over 18,000 shows that you can watch. All local. All with your friends, your neighbors, people you know. We can beat this thing. You can beat this thing. Along with being in at 8 o'clock, make sure that you wash your hands. Good hygiene matters. Bleach, one gallon. Use half a cup. Four teaspoons to a quart. Remember to rinse the area. Isopropyl alcohol, at least 70%, hydrogen peroxide in a spray bottle works. Uh, and hand sanitizer to keep things fresh, clean. Newcastle Playhouse is. Uh, not putting on any performances. If you feel sick, stay at home. If your children are sick, keep them home and contact your health care professional or medical provider. If an older person with underlying health con conditions, stay at home and stay away from other people. Avoid gatherings, okay. Use pickup, and we told you about all those great sponsors. Their menus and everything are on our Marketplace page, nctv45.com. Don't visit nursing homes or hospitals or critical care facilities. Now, I don't think we could have put it any simpler to you on the seriousness of the situation. I think we've laid it out and uh, it's um, just about as easy as it goes. We're going to take this break. We'll be right back. lgkg.com At our law firm, we see you. Come see us at lgkg.com This program brought to you by Cummings Landscaping and Design Brandon Cummins, Lower This program Auburn. sponsored by Lombardo's Apothecary, located at 1230 South Mill Street on the south side of Newcastle. 
Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. Hey folks, that's going to do it. Uh, we will be posting our news watch all together after what transpired, I don't know. And um, we'll get it so that maybe the gremlins don't attack tomorrow. Meanwhile, make sure you tell a friend and have a friend tell a friend about NCTV 45. They'll be glad you did. And um, if they say, I don't watch a lot of TV, tell them that NCTV 45 is available anytime on your time. So um, make sure you get that second cup of coffee, iced tea, a piece of pie, and have a super evening in what I call the greatest castle in the world, in the county of Lawrence. Have a great evening, everybody, and uh, stay home, stay safe, stay well, and we'll see you again real soon. The illusion Got my ticket for the midnight plane And it's not easy